In Leicester and Leicestershire, there are a number of geographical issues that we need to be aware of when we're putting on ESF provision for young people. The city and the county have different issues, but they are fairly similar. In the city, we're very aware that young people can make their way into the city centre very easily and therefore access the provision that we put on there without too many difficulties. They also like to be able to stay in their own communities and access provision. So we ensure that two types of provision are available, one in the city centre and one in local communities. It's slightly different in the county, whereby young people are used to travelling longish distances and are willing to take a number of buses. So we tend to put on the provision in some of the county towns. But we have to ensure that there is provision there because they won't make those longer journeys into the city itself. In the county, we also need our providers to be very, very flexible in terms of what they deliver. So whereas in the city, it might be that a provider only puts on provision in one particular employment area. In the county, most of the providers put on a range of different types of provision. So you'll get one provider putting on engineering, construction, warehouse, catering, for example, whereas in the city, the providers are much more specialist. This then gives the flexibility in the county for a number of different types of young people in an area to be able to access provision locally. That's not so key in the city. There are three main socio-economic issues that we need to be aware of when we're deciding upon how to put on the ESF courses in Leicester and Leicestershire. The initial one is education. Uh, obviously we have young people who have done well at school and we have young people who have not done so well at school and we also have young people who may have learning difficulties etc. So we need to put on a range of courses that enable young people, uh, it doesn't really matter what sort of qualifications they've got, to be able to access those easily and benefit from them. So we have a range of different providers who offer those different courses. Up to now, that's been fairly successful, although we're constantly having to review that to ensure that we do cover all the young people that are in our area. The second area is about income. Uh, at, like most cities and most counties, there are different ranges of income that young people have access to and their parents. Consequently, we have to ensure that if a youngster wishes to take on a career such as catering or construction where there might be a lot of expense to do with equipment then they are able to do that if they don't have the resources from their family income. We use bursaries to be able to deliver that side of the uh, provision and ensure that young people are able to access whatever it is they wish to access without being uh, financially um, in difficulties with that. The third and final area really is about housing because again like most parts of the country there are some youngsters who unfortunately aren't able to stay at home. Uh, they may be um, uh, sofa surfing, they may be staying in temporary accommodation etc. Now a number of those youngsters might not feel, find it therefore quite so easy to be able to get to their courses on time they may need to have time off uh, to be able to move house or uh, deal with some kind of emergency that takes place. So those youngsters, we ensure that the provider is aware of that and that they can be flexible about the arrangements in terms of their attendance on the course.